it has mainly two important continents, Westeros and Essos. Westeros and Essos. The major one being uh, Westeros. Each continent can be considered as a nation all by itself. Just like Australia is. Right? So, the backdrop of Game of Thrones is set in Westeros. While, most, while, many of, while many of the important characters slowly arise from the second continent, that's Essos.
to become more powerful than ever before. We can see in, this, uh, in our modern society as well. We hear, we hear horror stories of women facing treachery every day sprayed on the front cars of our newspapers. But at the same time, we know that women are growing slowly and steadily. They're taking over the boardrooms, they're becoming CEOs and artists, motivators. And what more better example do we need than Malala Yousafia herself? A little girl who dreamed big and was trying to stop, but it came out stronger, fiercer and bolder than ever before. They are warriors in their own rights and will not be downtrodden anymore. Number two. Again going back to the story, we see that in the series a very divided nation, not just divided politically, but rather financially as well, where the rich keep getting richer and the poor poorer. We see, we see that the previously amicable clans are now fighting each other to the death. Isn't that the present situation in our world as itself? where we see people dying due to excess consumption and people in the very next country doing, uh, dry, uh, dying due to undernourishment. We know that multiple countries are still fighting each other rather than moving towards their own com with, the, with the common goal of peace and prosperity of its citizens. We are hardwired since our childhood to achieve our own personal successes at any cost rather than trying to grow as a nation or the human society as a whole and keeping external forces at play. So I'd like to conclude by saying that it doesn't matter where you get your inspiration from. It can be a silly comic or anything. Just as you keep a, it's just enough if you keep an open mind, new revelations will come to you and you'll be all the wise of it. Thank you.